lost our profits. Just gotta pull in here and get this job. There it is. All in pressure tanks. I really wish Randy got to see this game. He would have loved this game. Because Randy, uh, all his life, has had this fascination with trucks. He even has a CDL license. I don't know why he never became a truck driver. I guess because that's work and it's just against Randy's philosophy of work. Uh, that being, he doesn't work. We got a 21 hour drive in front of us. We're not going to make any effort to uh, get there on time. Um, although, we could be close to the ferry, so um, if I get to sleep halfway through this trip as a result of the ferry ride and I don't have to stop for extra sleep, then uh, we could have this thing delivered with um, an, a rating of excellent, which could uh, give us some more money, I think. More money, more experience points, I'm not really sure what. You just gotta focus on getting there though. But we are gonna pay closer attention this time to our sleep needs. If uh, if it gets up over halfway and I'm not halfway to the ferry, we're gonna we're gonna um we're just going to pull over and go to sleep at a rest stop. I won't pay another sleepy fine. Because he still didn't fall asleep yet. He just got fined for avoiding sleep. Okay. We're taking this on ramp. We're going to jump on the interstate. I guess they're called interstates in Europe. I really don't know. Acceleration is much, much slower when you're carrying a big load like this. I don't know if Twitch TV streams at 60 frames per second or 30. I uh, never really looked into it. Uh, if it only streams at 30, then I'm getting exactly the amount of frames. That, uh... Well, I mean, I'm getting more than 30 in the game, but if it goes to 30, then I guess it's going to look pretty good. Who cares, right? Who gives a poop? I, 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 my computer, I've got an i5 processor. Maybe I should have gotten an i7, um, but I'm happy with the i5. I got a GTX 770 EVGA video card. It's very good. It's... Um, I mean, obviously the 780 would be the tits. I don't actually know anybody who has one of those, though. Most people stop at the 770, which was 400 bucks, a little more. Uh, if you ever want to get a video card, um, and there's a new one about to come out, go ahead and get, like, the cheaper one, and then upgrade to the newer one if you get it within 90 days. If it comes before the, the next generation of cards comes out, you can upgrade to whatever the next generation is even if it's a more powerful video card, uh, which is which is really cool. Let's see, I just got a message on my phone. Let's see what it says. That's an email. Uh, Voice Farm is now following you on Twitch. Very cool. It's really neat when you get uh, followers on this thing, because I, I, you know, I put it out on my Twitter, but I don't get a lot of people from Twitter, I don't think. But interestingly, I've gotten, as a result, more followers on Twitter and followers on Twitch, which is really weird uh, and flattering that people would even want to follow this shit, you know? One guy said that he liked listening to me talk, that I said interesting things. I don't know if that's true or not, but um, 
I do enjoy just kind of talking as I do this. It's a great chance to sort of get my thoughts out, my rage, get a lot of rage out. I am Colonel Rage after all. Uh, Colonel Road Rage and Little Hate. Just driving down the road, doing whippets in the, in the front seat. Uh, getting our horizontal dance on in the back seat there. Can I look at it? You can kind of see it back there. That's where Jamie Joe Lot Lizard likes to flop down and and wait for dust in the wind to pick her up, off her, sweep her off her feet, and give her a tab of ecstasy or something. I don't know what they do. I don't think they're together anymore. She's with this dude. You got to go on her YouTube channel and look at the creepy shit she's got going on on YouTube because she's with this dude. He's got teeth like hanging out of his mouth like uh, like Zoidberg. Just teeth and and he's making some kind of political statement like she she gets with these dudes that make these crazy like not even quite libertarian statements that are just basically just like crazy and hateful I think this guy was about like what the homeless need to do well let me tell you how to how to handle the homeless and he prescribes all these get a job sort of things you know <laughs> you got to check out that video uh, if it's still online, I'm actually going to download it because it's the kind of video that she'll probably take down later. Old Dust in the Wind, though. I I wish she was still with that guy because he was full of hate. He said nigger on his, on his uh, anti-Obama chant, which was like, you know, I guess par for the course. A guy like him not having nothing to, to do with the president, politics, or Obama. Just like, and, uh, no, I'm not a racist or anything, and I don't want to sound like a racist, but uh, uh, where I come from, that, that's called a nigger, is what he said. <laughs> like, dude. Yeah, that's not racist. I appreciate that, um, that you don't want to sound like a racist. But I think the best thing to do if you don't want to sound like a racist is, first of all, don't preface anything that you're about to say with, I don't want to sound like a racist, but, and then don't say anything at all. But uh, it makes me think about that girl that, that just hated when that guy was like, uh, said the word retard or something. And she goes, oh, that word. Now, what if this guy really hated retards, right? And then you tell him, dude, you can't say retards in public. Or like, you know, let's just say for a second that uh, he actually, you know, didn't like Jews. And he said the word kikes in class to be funny or whatever. And somebody said, uh, dude, you can't say kikes in public, okay? And he really does have that hate in his heart. Well, all you're doing is giving that guy a roadmap uh, of where the landmines are. So he doesn't, so he knows what not to say. You're not changing who he is or his attitudes. You're just giving him, uh, you're giving him the tools he needs to carry out his racism and negativity without anybody catching him for it. So then he winds up saying like, well, if you want to take care of the homeless, you know, uh, don't give them a hand out, give them a hand up. Uh, show them how to fish rather than handing them a fish sort of, you know, and then you're onto this whole new ideological shitstorm when before it was so easy. Oh, that guy says nigger, he, he's wrong. You know, we don't have to tell him that he's wrong. A person can just be safely disregarded if they really are idiots, right? I mean, that's just basic uh, human interaction. So getting upset over these stupid words, like, you know, even us breaking Dustin's balls is stupid because uh, you're, you're just giving people like that a roadmap for uh, things not to say um, if the hate is in their heart. Otherwise, you're just embarrassing them for no reason because they're not really hateful like that. I mean, I think there's nothing wrong with saying retard or, or faggot. Or, or any of those things, if the hate is not in your heart, right? I mean, uh, because uh, it's not it's not my battle to fight. And uh, if you're listening to this, there's a, the chances are it's not your battle to fight either. So let people say whatever the fuck they want, and if they got the hate in their hearts, well, that's their problem. Um, the, the likelihood of some ignoramus having any effect on society outside of his own little bubble of uh, being an eating and shitting machine at home is so small that you're just uh, taking up somebody else's battle and even if you win you're, you're 
still losing to people like that. Because they're right, no matter what, you know? So what the fuck are you gonna do? Change the world because you get offended? Being offended is so fucking stupid. Wow, well, I take offense to that. Good. You know? Good. Now you're wasting uh, your time and my time, and uh, now we gotta babysit your emotions for, for the next five minutes. Because you're offended. Fuck those people. If they get offended, uh, that's like, just because they scream loud, we gotta pay attention to them. That's like when you're at the movies, and somebody's got a screaming fucking baby. That baby's not the majority, but everybody hears it, and is fucking just so distraught by it, they'll do anything to make the baby stop crying. Like, dude, make the baby stop fucking crying, I'll come over there personally, and let it suck on my thumb, or whatever the fuck it needs to do, so we can all enjoy this movie together. Or you can just not bring the fucking babies around. Babies are just people who get offended by nothing. But the only difference between a baby and a 22-year-old social justice warrior is that a baby uh, has every excuse not to know better. But these other people are just loud fucking babies and um, really not helping anybody's case. They're actually hurting it, if anything. Um, I take offense to that because, as uh, well, first of all, as an enlightened, independent young woman. All right, I gotta stop. That's just too hateful. You guys know where I'm going with that. We've all we've all heard the argument. Like everything else, I'm like six months too late on that shit because I've been doing other things. Okay, but I got a lot. I got a lot of hate in my heart. <laughs> you can't. If you get all, uh, I got a hate in my heart for some really stupid shit. It has just been percolating over the over the last several months. We got the cruise control on, but we're just slowing down because these pressure tanks are so goddamn heavy. Uh, 16 hours. Um, maybe... Alright, look. Before I pass this gas station, let's take a look at the world map here and see if we're going to make it no, we're not going to make it to the ferry, so we might as well sleep here. Um, and just make make the right choices. We'll gas up here too. What the hell? Well, no, that guy's in our fucking gas station spot. Alright, we're just going to go and go to sleep. Oh, come on, dude. I'm hung up on that shit. Now the bus is gone. Fuck you. And somebody must have been behind me. I crashed into him. I was supposed to do this perfect. Oh, what bullshit. Dude. I'm not even stuck on anything. And there's this guy right behind me. It's just going to keep giving me these traffic offenses. Oh, you got it. I wish I could just get out of the car and tell this guy... That, look, man, I need a little space here. Alright. We got out of that. 400 euros, but we're out. Getting some rest. Lucas made us a little money. It's now midnight. We are cruising for a bruising. We're gonna stop and get gas later. Gas doesn't slow you down nearly as much as sleeping. Like gas is a fraction of what a full night's rest is. I got email again. I don't even want to read it. Oh, Lucas made us money. So now we're back in the positives. You go, boy. Oh, and we got that bitch too. We got, uh, what's her name? Georgia. George, George Joe Corn, making us lots of money, making the big bucks driving that majestic around Paris. Who the hell knows where she is right now? Probably at her meth dealer.
Get in the nest. 